सो आई वॉज एट दी पोलिसिस्टिक ओवेरियन सिंड्रोम और पोलिसिस्टिक ओवेरियन डिजीज इफ इफ देयर इज पोलिसिस्टिक ओवेरियन डिजीज दैट इज इफेक्ट ऑफ द दैट हैव इफेक्ट ऑन दी ओवरी डिजीज ऑफ ओवरी इन दिस केस वी वी हैव टू आस्क अबाउट इज देयर एनी ओलिगो मेनोरिया ओलिगो मेनोरिया ओलिगो मेनोरिया इज इज द इरेगुलर पीरियड्स एट इंटरवल्स ऑफ मोर दैन थर्टी फाइव डेज सो द साइकिल ऑफ मैंस्ट्रेशन दैट इज मोर दैन थर्टी फाइव डेज विद द इरेगुलरिटी ऑफ द साइकिलिक डेज सो दिस इज अंडर द हेडिंग ऑफ पोलिसिस्टिक ओलिगो मेनोरिया एंड वन ऑफ द पॉइंट ऑफ द पोलिसिस्टिक ओवेरियन सिंड्रोम इज ओलिगो मेनोरिया एंड द अदर इज इज देयर एनी हेयर लॉस हेयर ग्रोथ सॉरी हेयर ग्रोथ इट इज कॉल्ड हिस्टेटिज्म is there difficulty in weight loss there is no weight loss either either she is not taking too much is there coctation of aorta for this we have to uh, know that is there uh, is there rapid breathing breathing is very rapid that is a symptom or sign of the is there heavy sweating so th- these two things uh, describe that is uh, the coagulation of aorta is present and next point is there is any acne so all these points just that the polycystic ovarian syndrome is present and if there is polycystic ovarian syndrome it means that there is problem with the ovary and when there is a problem with ovary so estrogen and the progesterones are abnormality or uh, are, are uh, disturbed and this affect the outflow tracts including uterus or the endometrium so when there is outflow tract abnormality outflow genital tract abnormality it means that there is abnormality in the endometrium first of all uterus is there absent uterus for example in case of androgen insensitivity syndrome in this case there is uterus is absent so there is no menstruation occur number second is is there mullerian एजेनेसिस मुलेरियन एजेनेसिस डिस्क्राइब दैट देर रिलीज ऑफ एंटी मुलेरियन दैट ड्यूरिंग डिवेलपमेंट सो इन केस ऑफ मुलेरियन एजेंसिस द एंटी मुलेरियन इज रिलीज एंड एंड दिस इफेक्ट यूट्रेस टू बी नॉट डिवेल्प and fallopian tube and uh, uh, the upper two third of the uh, of the vagina so these all include that there is no menstruation number 3 is imperforate hymen we know that there is uh, the hymen present in the um, female genital tract uh, 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 small hole is present in the female genital tract from which the bleeding uh, in case of menstruation uh, come out but if, if there is imperforate hymen and the bleeding occurs from the uterus uh, 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 wall endometrial wall dissolution but due to the imperforate hymen the bleeding not occur so we can uh, mistakenly say that there is amenorrhea uh, for uh, imperforate hymen you know, uh, the history questions are the complaints are the symptoms of the female is that there is cyclic abdominal pain due to the back flow uh, pressure of the menstrual bleed and urination difficulty that effect uh, that is affected uh, by the pressure on the uh, bladder and uh, there is lump in the abdomen so the and number 4 is transverse vaginal septum transverse vaginal 
septum. In this case, there is cyclic abdominal pain same uh, as in in imperforate hymen, cyclic abdominal pain, pelvic mass, and on MRI we see that there is clearly defines length of the atractic segmentation. the main reason is that when when the vagina develop uh, there is uh, there is uh, the vagina if you say that like this and uh, uh, from the development you come to know that the vaginal part uh, is is developed from the two different things so there is the combination of two layers if if there is septum if, if there is abnormality in that there is a septum developed between the vaginal walls so there is no blood loss uh, blood come out from the uh, um, vaginal opening so uh, uh, the patient feel that there is amenorrhea so this is transverse vaginal septum and they, when these outflow genital tracts problem are present there is no menstruation so we call these the amenorrhea is present so these are the main causes of the amenorrhea